Right guys, Mal here from ZaltechReviews.com Back with you today with another review, this time from Monta Watches uh, This is uh, the Monta Noble uh, It's more like a, it's a, well they call it a sports watch but Oh, well, it's a dressy sports watch. I say it's more on the dressy side than it is on the sports watch kind of genre. Uh, anyway, before I get into it, I keep getting comments. How come you never show your face on the videos? Right? Well, it's all you need to do is go. If you want to really want to see my face, well, just go to my website. Go to the contact section, and you'll see a big picture am I cooking now all the females that watch my video they're going to be having fanny flutters now <laughs> due to my overwhelming handsomeness I even you mrs. Jones I I know <laughs> right I'll play the intro fuck's sake <laughs> Right then guys, uh, the Monta Noble, uh, this is a, a much more higher end uh, micro brand, uh, cost of these retail is $1,795 US dollars, uh, it, there's no pre-orders or anything stupid like that, go to the website, buy it, uh, but I would be a bit wary of import tax if you're buying from outside of the United States. Right, anyway, let's talk about the specifications. I'll give you the dimensions first. Uh, my own measurements as per. Uh, case diameter, 38.4mm. Total thickness, 9.6mm. Lug to lug, 47.1mm and it has a 20mm lug width the total weight uh, with the bracelet fitted and sized up for my 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist is 129 grams the movement inside it is they call it the Monta Caliber M-22 it's basically a decorated and modified custom rotor and all that. It's a Salita SW300. Great movement. So, I think the reason that they call it their car is no to make you think that it's in house or anything like that. It's all to do with stock and what movements they can get because they either have the ETA equivalent or the Salita or whatever. Uh, right, aye, 28,800 vibrations per hour, hackable, self-winding, with a 42 hour power reserve. The case itself is obviously 316L stainless steel, brushed and polished. Uh, I'm not going to move the watch in here because I can't get it to lie flat when I open the clasp. Uh, hang on a sec. Just to be the links full, as you can see, look. <laughs> so I've got to keep the class shut if I'm going to lie it flat. Well, there, that'll do. Right, eh, uh, where was it? I brushed and polished, and the quality of the finishing is outstanding. It's, it's one of the best I've seen uh, from any micro brand. In fact, no, even it's better than a lot of main big brands and all the rest of the stuff the finish, let me give you a quick close up the finishing is excellent, I've got to say the transitions uh, super, I mean it's it's perfect for what this watch is and the way it's been executed the build quality and everything like that it's 100% um, to put it on par with other micro brands that you might think I was asked this question the other day and I don't have the answer to it to be honest with you 
but because I've got experience in these brands, i.e. Monta Watches, uh, Formex, Christopher Ward, you know the kind of higher end micro brands, and I'd say they're all on the same level. And to be honest, putting that into context, that's a compliment for if you've had any experience of any of the three brands, well, you know that the quality and the, the finishing and all that's it's outstanding. Right. Next. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I said that. The crystal on this is flat sapphire and it has seven layers of anti-reflective coatings on the underside and uh, it does a fantastic job uh, the dial you've got applied hour markers and these I'm no kidding these indices are probably the best I've seen the finishing is outstanding uh, Kind of multifaceted, um, polished, uh, and I've looked at this dial under macro, and I'm no kidding, it's flawless, absolutely flawless. Uh, the dial itself, the the the, the put on their website, it's listed as like a silver dial. Now I hate silver dials, but this one. This one, 95% of the time, it'll come across as a white dial. Uh, it's only, I mean, maybe what, two or three times uh, since I've been wearing it, I thought, oh, aye, it's shown a wee bit silver there, but it's, see it in like normal daylight, it's, no matter what angle you have it at, uh, it's going to come across as white. Uh, but on camera, you can see there, look, that looks kind of silverish. But I, as I say, 95% of the time you think this is a white watch. The uh, rest of the day, I mean, beautiful hands, quite slim, but then it's coming across as more of a dress watch than sports. Date is 6, that's framed and the frame is actually sunken into the dial so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb oh excuse me uh, you've also got uh, Swiss made obviously you know either side of the indice at 6 or the half pattern at 6 text wise it's obviously uh, let me show you I'll show you the low come on focus it's the uh, logo and the brand name obviously printed and underneath you've got self-winding and the water resistance 500 feet or 150 meters I mean as I say there is some elements of a sports watch that water resistance being one screw down crown as well screw down case back it's, it's a Gada watch really even though it's on the dressier side, but I, I could easily wear this every day. It's really nice. Um, where, oh, the hands. Rhodium plated diamond cut hands. Basically, they're fantastic. I see if we can get a close up of the hands on camera to show you. If I go too close, it's just going to lose focus. You can see that AR coating man did a fantastic job. That's an extremely, extremely bright light, and it's just gone. Aye, whatever. Aye, so that's the dial covered. Oh. Uh, what's next? The loom on this. The loom on this is actually it's fantastic. Um, I'll put some B roll up showing you the loom. Uh, it's obviously BGW9. Uh, right, the bracelet, brushed and polished, 316L stainless steel, blah blah blah, and it matches the watch perfectly. 
it's not an off the shelf item that's just been thrown on no chance it matches perfect you can see there with the light hitting that see how the the light bounces up at the exact same angle and everything that's what you want female end links which is good uh, fully brushed on top and every single link is rounded off and even the sides are brushed as well which I prefer uh, screw links for sizing oh, I'll show you and it's high quality screws as well and you've also got half links uh, but you also have with a fully mill clasp you also have on the fly adjustment which is great you just pull that out move it to where you want it I think there's about well let's see it's well, about three, three or four positions I just put that back to where it was so I'm going to give you a wrist shot it's going to fit my wrist nice clasp uh, just that, see that button there just fits into that wee hole and it's buttery smooth but secure and obviously the fold over as well um, that's that uh, sometimes comes across as polish but it's no polish by the way it's like a, a satin type thing hold on a uh, really nice clasp one of the best a wee bit dirty there Aye, uh, one of the best I've seen. Uh, I still think the Formex clasp on the reef is the best I've seen. Uh, uh, there's nothing comes close. Uh, the last review I done was the Formex Essence 39 and I didn't like it because I had a butterfly clasp. But as I say, the Formex reef clasp I think is still the best that I've experienced. Right, uh, what else? Um, there's no drilled lugs or anything like that. But see, to be honest, you don't need it because you need to be an idiot to take uh, this bracelet off the watch because it's fantastic and super comfortable. Uh, one thing I think they might, although it doesn't really affect my list, but I've had some feedback saying. Oh, they wish the, the clasp was a wee bit shorter, just a wee bit. Because uh, on really small wrists, it, it, it is quite large. It's fine on mine. And my wrist size is six and three quarter inch. Uh, six and three quarter inch. So, I mean, as I say, it fits mine fine. So, I didn't have any problems with that. I think it's really nice. I think it's one of the, as I say, one of the best uh, bracelets I've seen, or experienced. It's really nice. Really comfy. And bonus points for the female end links because Formex and Christopher Ward don't do that. Well, on the Sealander they don't do it. Uh, what else can I say? There's the movement. SW300, basic specs around the edge. It's really nicely decorated with the, that rotor and that. Uh, screw down, as I said, sapphire crystal, obviously, on both sides. Lovely jubbly. Right, what's next? Water resistance, 150 metres, as I said. Uh, case back screw down, well, I'll say all that. The crown is 5.8 mils in size, perfectly proportioned for this watch because it's super slim. One of the slimmest watches I've ever seen, 9.6 mil. That's ridiculous but fantastic at the same time. Uh, where to buy, I'll leave a link in the description, takes you to my website and then you'll get all the specs. Everything you need to know about this watch, uh, where to buy and all the rest of the stuff. Last but not least is the warranty, two years, which is fine. You get more with Christopher Ward, you get more with Formex, but two years, 
I would say, oh, perfect, I'll have some of that. Right, uh, quick wrist check by the way, um, we're in the the new Flieger watch from Second Hour, uh, Second Hour Watches, uh, it just came in yesterday. Uh, but anyway, I've got to give you a shot of this, isn't I? There we go. 47 mil lug to lug. Fits my wrist perfect. And as you can see, it lies totally flat on wrist. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Super comfortable and fits my wrist perfectly. Aye. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Oh, just let me zoom out a wee bit. Aye. There you go. Fantastic watch, highly recommended. It is expensive, but you are getting a lot for your money. Uh, looking at the Monta lineup, it's probably my favourite out of them all. The Monta Noble. I reviewed the Monta Triumph oh, a good few years ago now. Uh, but I think this one is perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Right guys, that's me for today. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, you know the usual, it all helps. Oh, excuse me. Uh, aye, so that's it. So I'm going to go and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.